Hey guys, Everything Tech Pro here. Apple just released macOS High Sierra 10.13.1 and I'm going to be talking about whether or not you should upgrade to this version of macOS High Sierra. And if you guys are aware, previously there was some supplemental update which was there and if that's showing still on your updates page, please do not update right now because the, supplement, the supplemental update is creating a lot of problem right now. For many users, the update was not successful. They had to reboot and they had to sometimes reset all their data. That's, that's really a, a problematic situation. So let's get started up right away. With the Mac OS High Sierra 10.13.1, you now have an improved iTunes with the version number 12.7.1. Also, the Mac OS High Sierra 10.13.2 developer beta was also launched that also focuses on performance improvements in the next version of iTunes. Addition to that, you now have newer emojis in the macOS High Sierra 10.13.1, just same as which you had in the iOS 11.1. And it also fixes a couple of bugs here. It fixes a bug where Bluetooth may be unavailable during Apple Pay transactions. And it, it improves the reliability of the Microsoft Exchange message sync in email. And it fixes an issue where Spotlight may not accept keyboard input. And the last one, I have seen it many times in my macOS High Sierra. And hope when I upgrade, this uh, bug will be uh, fixed. I'm seriously hoping for this to be done. So guys, the same drill will be followed this time as well. I'm going to be running the Geekbench and AJA system benchmark test. So before I go ahead and run the test, I'll show you which version I'm running. So as you can see, I'm running the 10.13 Mac OS High Sierra. So now I'm going to be opening the Geekbench here. And as you can see, there's nothing open except for the QuickTime and the Geekbench 3. So I'm going to be running the Geekbench and AJA system benchmark scores. And after it's done, I'll be back. So guys, the scores are here. So before I read up the scores, let's see the version number. And it's Mac OS uh, High Sierra 10.13 with a build number 17A365. And I got a single core score of 2249 and a multi core score of 5110. So let's take a screenshot of this so that it is easy to compare once I upgrade to the Mac OS High Sierra 10.13.1. And here goes the AJA system benchmark test. It had a write score of 295 megabytes per second for a 16 gigabyte file size and a read speed of 344.6 megabytes per second. So that is the read and write scores for the uh, Mac OS High Sierra 10.13. And you should also know that uh, Apple is already running the Apple file system on the Mac OS High Sierra with a new codec which will improve the speed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be upgrading to Mac OS High Sierra 10.13.1 and once I'm back I'm going to be running the benchmark scores and then I'm going to be back comparing the scores. So guys I'm back after upgrading as you can see the Mac OS High Sierra 10.13.1 and the build number for this version is 17B48. So now let's get to the Geekbench scores. I got a single core score of 2670 and a multi-core score of 5438. And regarding the disk read and write speeds, for the same 16 gigabyte file size, the write speed was 334.6 megabytes per second and the read speeds were 350.3 megabytes per second. Now, in just a minute, I'm gonna be comparing the scores. So let's go here and take the screenshots, of the Geekbench and the system benchmark test. Let's kill it. And now, as you can see, the uh, single core score has gone up by a significant amount from 2249 to 2670. That's a good jump. And the multi core score also going up by about 200 from 5110 to 5438. So that's a good sign. This version of Mac OS High Sierra should be faster than the previous version, definitely. Then next comes the AJA system benchmark test. So this was for the macOS High Sierra 10.13. I got a write speed of 295 as compared to the current one, which is 334.6. That's a big jump. More than 35 to 40 megabytes per second of extra write speed. And the read speed was 344.6. That has also gone up by 
about 6 megabytes per second to 350.3 megabytes per second and regarding the storage I absolutely forgot to uh, show you guys uh, how much storage I had but I have the count so now as you can see it is available 83.62 I had about 80 gigabytes of uh, available storage previously so about 3 gigabytes of freed up now as you can see 4 gigabytes of freed up storage now after upgrading and regarding the capacity it was 250 so uh, with the upgradation you now have more uh, gigabytes of capacity as well that is 0.14 gigabytes of extra capacity available on your MacBook and this might be different for different users and if you're using one of the newer Macs you will be seeing more freed up storage and even better benchmark scores in the Geekbench and the AJA system benchmark test so finally I'm going to be answering the question should you or should you not upgrade to this version first of all there is no holding back now since you are on the high Sierra even if you're holding the using the older devices if it is slowed down then I would say you have to upgrade to the next version to get your speed back or at least you have a chance of getting your speed back and for newer devices this is really great you have a new uh, a lot of new emojis to use from and then you have the email bug fixed and the spotlight uh, search typing which was not there it has been fixed all these things has been fixed so on general I do think you guys should upgrade to the latest version of the Mac OS High Sierra so that's it guys for this video I will see you in the very next video